Good evening. So today we're going to be talking about how to change out your diverter valve on the N55 335i. And this is for the E93 or E90 series BMWs. So we'll get started on that. First thing you got to do is jack up the car, which I am doing right now. So jack up the car, get it on jack stands. We're going to get under the car. The process of doing this is the probably the quickest way since you don't have to remove the water pump or drain any coolant. We're just going to go straight for it. I'll show you how to do it. Take off your intake. So this is going to be just a regular screwdriver. Wiggle that out. Set that aside. Next, you're gonna tackle the inlet uh, plastic tubing. So this take, it comes off with a T25 Torx screw. That's loose now. Take out your retaining clips on this, uh, this hose right here. Can be a little brittle so just be very careful not to snap these I already snapped the top and the bottom one but i still got two left loosen those up and then pull out so you're just going to be picking at it and then using your other hand to kind of wiggle it out slowly and let those clips unloosen so i need two hands to do this now that that's loosened up wiggle out and then there's the o-ring pull out this connector right here also a wiggle and then you're ready to take it out you just need to get to this bolt right here that is an 11 millimeter for me jiggle it up set it aside Next, we're working on the inlet, this thing here. It's held together by just one 10 millimeter screw right there. And then once that comes out, you just wiggle this out too. Take out this O-ring for more space. Get it in and loosen. Wiggle it out. Make it through. Inlet is out. So now you have access to the top bolt. It's hard to see, but you have access to the top bolt from here. So right now I have a wrench on the top bolt. It's a five millimeter Allen. Um, or a hex. Uh, I use a ball tipped or ball tipped um, hex screw or driver bit and that kind of helps me get at it from any angle I need to. Uh, I have a small kind of flexible ratchet one fourth inch and this top bolt is usually a pain for everybody but it's not that bad. You can't see anything so you're really just gonna go by feel. You have to feel for where that top bolt is and then with the same hand use the uh the ball end tip for the hex bit and kind of guide it into the top bolt and then you're just going to loosen it and it's going to come right out and then the, the bottom two bolts are much easier you're going to get at those from the bottom of the car without needing to remove the water pump or draining any coolant these have loctite on them so they're going to be tight all the way out until they're completely out so just keep on chugging away with this limited amount of space the bolts it's right over there so five millimeter hex the hardest bolt of this whole job is out underneath the car now take out this 10 millimeter nut holding the power steering lines Let's 
10 millimeter nut out. Push this up. And then you can just kind of bend this out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna just bend it and it's flexible so you can kind of move it out of your way because we need to get access through the water pump. So I just bent it and kind of put it under this cross member brace. So now it's out of the way. We got uh, some access to get this water pump cable out or plug and this uh, thermostat plug right here. So this one, there's a little screw that you just, or there's a little latch that you just kind of use a screwdriver and you can pick it up and then wiggle it through. So this is for the thermostat. And then this one is gonna need two hands cause you need to get a, like a screwdriver on this latch, pull up and then slide this out. This is the wall water pump connector. Okay, now that that's loose, we'll slide it out. Wiggle. Okay, water pump connection's out. So now we can loosen the water pump. We're not removing it, we're just loosening it. Two bolts right there, and then one bolt on the very top. I'm gonna show you the very top bolt because you can find DIY guides on it. I don't have that top water bolt, water pump bolt in because it's too hard to really, too, too much time to get to it. So the water pump's totally fine. I've been running, running it with only two bolts holding it together for about two years now, no issues. So take out these two bolts. These are E14. So this can move around as much as needed to kind of get your hand up through here and feel around for those bottom two bolts um, with this out of the way and you know and you want to make sure that this thermostat cable is unplugged so that it's not shearing on this sharp part of the of the car while you're moving this water bolt water pump around so here is um, where we need to be. So here's the water pump moving in. You can see right there is the uh, two bolts that you need to get to. So we're going to kind of come at it from a flexible angle to get those two bolts. This is gonna be our tool setup. It's a uh, ball tipped five millimeter Allen. Uh, and it's a little bit longer, like maybe one or two inches long. Uh, connected to a adapter for a hex and then this is the important piece right here this is the flexible um, extension and you can really get a lot of good angles with this thing and then mate that with a another six inch extension and you're gonna kind of come in like this at this angle to get all those bolts out you're coming from the bottom of the car like kind of where the radiator fan is and then through the water pump, move that water pump a little bit throughout the way as you need to, and then right into the screw. Hook your ratchet up and then undo those bolts, uh, two of them. This is the radiator fan, this is the intercooler. Um, you're gonna be kind of coming in from this angle here and then fishing that through, looking for it somewhere over here. Take your other hand and then guide that through the water pump and into the bolts right over there. So there's two bolts there. We're gonna try to fish that through from where we're starting over here. So I took off the rigid six inch extension and I just got, got this one in and the other piece of the puzzle, where is it at? I can't even see it. Oh, there it is, right there. Um, that's in, guided in. So now I'm gonna attach the six inch rigid extension and then my ratchet to break this loose right now i'm just loosening it up got it all set up right there coming out nice and loose okay i'm 
almost there. Bolt number two is loosening up. So my, so my diverter valve uh, yeah, fell out, there's no more bolts. But I forgot to take off the plug. There's a little plug with a push connection that you just push the little lever and then the plug comes right out. Make sure you take that out and then you can uh, slide or wiggle this uh, diverter valve out. Diverter valve is out. This is my Turbo Smart um, blow off valve, diverter valve. I'm going to be selling this and selling this car so I wanted to take this part out and put the stock diverter valve back on. So this is out. Getting the uh, stock diverter valve back on you just kind of slide it through this angle here right where the downpipe is and then you can kind of wiggle or wiggle your way through all the wires and water pump hoses to get to this point right here where the diverter valve goes is that is that hole right there so here's the t uh, trick i use to get the bolts back up there uh, i put some electrical tape on the actual screw and the bit so that whatever i do it doesn't kind of fall off as i'm trying to squeeze this through the tight space once you get it into position you can thread it in by hand and then use the ratchet to tighten things up and then as soon as you pull out the tape will come off of the screw and you can go on to the next one so this is a good way to not lose your your screw as you're going up through that tight space now we're just doing the reverse Tightening up those bolts. Alright, so you just button your power steering lines back on, your water pump two bolts back on over there. Um, reconnect your water pump uh, connector and your thermostat connector. Go back up top, reinstall the inlet and the intake, and then you're done. So that's the Turbo Smart blow off valve or the diverter valve in the M55 engine. Thanks for watching.